This is Andy Staples for SI.com here in Mobile, Alabama at the Practices for the Senior Bowl where a bunch of NFL hopefuls are trying to raise their draft stock. Some are succeeding, some aren't doing as well. The guys that are making themselves some money during Senior Bowl week. First and foremost, Pittsburgh defensive tackle Aaron Donald. You take a look at him, you think, this guy's small. How's this guy gonna hold up to an NFL pounding? And then you remember, this was the most disruptive defensive tackle in the country in college football in 2013. And then you watch him against future NFL offensive linemen just destroying people. He blows up plays over and over and over again. He's proven it this week. He's proven coachable. He's working on fine tuning his game. He doesn't need any big improvements. They can't change his size. He's six feet tall. He weighs about 285. You don't want to put too much more weight on him because he's not going to be able to carry it. Just let him do what he does. The guy is going to disrupt offenses in the NFL. He's drawing comparisons this week to Geno Atkins, plays for the Cincinnati Bengals now, was here as a former Georgia Bulldog a few years ago, and did basically the same thing. Just blowing up one-on-one, -on -one, double team drills. Donald looks like a future star. Don't worry about the size the guy can play. And now Donald was a well-known commodity in college in 2013. A guy who's come from a little bit off the radar is Colorado State Center Weston Richburg. There's a lot of good offensive linemen here. Richburg has stood out as a guy who is quick, who has a great punch, which is when you're an offensive lineman and that defensive lineman is pass rushing, you get your arms out and you, you hold him at bay. If you hit him hard enough, you can knock him off his course. Richburg has that in spades. He's been great this week in practice playing against guys who were maybe a little bit higher level of competition than he saw in the Mountain West. Another guy who's helped himself this week is former Florida guard John Halapio. Halapio had a very good junior year, and then everybody said, what the heck happened to this guy? Well, what happened to him is he played his senior year with a torn pectoral muscle, was out for a few games, came back, got gouged in the eye, was playing in a ton of pain all year. This is as healthy as he's been, and it's shown at the South team practices. Jalapio is quick, he's got a good punch, he moves well, he can pull. He's a guy who, if you looked at the tape from his senior year, you'd think, I'm not so sure that this is gonna be a productive NFL player. But you look at his junior year and you look at now, and you think, okay, maybe it was a result of those injuries. This guy looks like he's gonna be pretty good. On the flip side, the guys who are not helping themselves too much, Miami offensive tackle Chantrell Henderson, former number one recruit. He's got everything physically that a team would want. He's six foot seven, he's 331 pounds. He looks like a star offensive tackle. But this is a guy who could not nail down the starting right tackle job at Miami over the years. This is a guy you're not gonna to wanna to spend a high draft pick on anyway, but he hasn't really helped himself at all this week. One-on-one -on -one pass protection drills. We talked about punch when we were talking about Western Richburg. There's very little of that with Chantrell Henderson. He is essentially trying to catch defensive ends as they get around the corner. Now, here's the thing with Henderson though. He has all the physical tools that you need. So maybe he can be taught what he needs to do at the NFL level. But at this point, NFL teams want to see a mostly finished product. And he certainly is not that. It's good news for the guys who are not here. Alabama's A.J. McCarron took a lot of criticism for skipping the Senior Bowl, but he hasn't had a chance to be exposed in practices, and that's going to help probably come draft time. Ditto for Johnny Manziel. Teams seem to be more and more intrigued every day by what Johnny Football can do, and he's not here. He's not getting picked apart by scouts like these guys are. The other guy who is here, who may be helping himself by not playing because of a knee injury, is George's Aaron Murray. Murray's got four good years of tape to show NFL teams. He can't play right now, but he can show them on the dry erase board how well he understands a pro style offense. He played in one at Georgia, remember? So that mental stuff that he's doing is gonna help. And when they look at the tape, they're gonna think, you know, this guy may be a little bit shorter, but he got it done on the field. And we didn't see that out of those quarterbacks at practice. Of course, this could all change by the combine. People may fall in love with some of the guys that they fell out of love with here at the Senior Bowl, but that is the beauty of the pre-NFL draft silly season. For SI.com, I'm Andy Staples.